Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another video and I'm going to be doing another multi-part haul. I have a bunch of things here to show you guys today, so let's get right into it. So the first shop I have here is GP Studio. Um, I always want to say GP Sticker Studio because that was the previous name, but they have changed it and I'm trying to remember that. So um, yeah, uh, this is the freebie that I got. Uh, I think this is like the one that I've got with the, my last few orders. It's like super cute, like these icons here. I think I mentioned it before, but I don't really like to use animals in my planner. So I will be passing those along, but um, I have put these ones here into my like leftover sticker book and they're so cute. I keep using this FaceTime one um, anytime that I FaceTime somebody. So love that and then i did pick up two more of these scripts because i have some of the other ones and i love them um and so i picked up the cleaning ones as well as the reminder ones i love ones like these that are kind of more generic and i can use them for whatever um i think these are just so cute for like layering with scripts and i love the little watercolor stroke in the background i just think they're just so pretty like let me see here if i can pull out the other ones that i have do 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 yeah like i have all of these um and so like i've gone through some of them um haven't gone to school get back to school yet so obviously haven't used that yet but yeah i think they're super cute and i'm excited to have a few more options for scripts and then I did also get a few of the icons. So um, I got these shopping bag ones and I do have these in the mini icon sheet, but I thought those were like a little bit too small for like if I'm going to the mall. Um, normally I would use like a half box or something. So, but I wanted something a little bit bigger. So I grabbed these. I also have um, these work icons here. I did grab the study ones in my last order that were like a kind of similar idea where it's like a desk with the script, but I thought these would be super cute for obviously marking, working on uh, like orders and stuff for designing or whatever. Um, then I got these printers, which now that I look at them, they look a little, like they don't look too, they don't scream printer when I look at them. Um, but I will find a use for them. They are also pretty big, so maybe like the size would work better in my monthly, but I always love Gabby's icons, so I had to grab it. Um, and then I have these hair appointment ones because I literally have like no hair appointment stickers, I feel like. And not that I even have hair appointments that often, but I thought it would be good to have at least like an option. And then um, I also did grab these balloon stickers. I thought they were super cute and I don't have a lot of birthday stickers. I mentioned this in a different video um, because like I designed some balloon and like gift box stickers for my shop because I felt like I had like no birthday stickers. So I grabbed these as an option too and I really like they're like pink and gold and I feel like they'll match a lot of spreads. And then into the larger sheets. So. The whole reason I even placed this order was because I got this Beach Please um, kit in my last order and I somehow realized that I totally forgot all the half boxes and like the labels, like this page, I just totally somehow forgot. So I had to go back for it um, and you know, kind of sucks. <laughs> um, because I was like really worried that it wouldn't get here in time and I have plans to use it in like I think in two weeks It's like already the base is laid down I don't know why I was like so ballsy to lay down the base without having the half boxes, but I did it um, But yeah, I'm so happy that these came and now I'll be good to go for this like kit um, but while I was there, I did also decide to get this other kit and I will be saving this one for next summer because I do already have all my summer kits and summer spreads laid out um, because yes, I'm a crazy person and I've already laid down all my bases all the way through September and like maybe like two weeks in October already. So um, we're not going to talk about it, but this kit was really beautiful. It's called Summer Lovin'. I love the vibes of this kit. It's like so watercolory. I just love the art style. I have no idea who the artist is, but it's so beautiful and I love like, I don't know, the clothes are so cute. This girl's swimsuit, like so cute. This like sun hat, are you kidding me? And I have a purse that looks so much like this. Like mine doesn't have like the handles. Oh, mine looks almost exactly like this. Yeah. Um, and I love it. So those are the full boxes. The colors are also so fun and like summery. So I feel like I'm gonna love using this next year. And um, then we've got, you know, I think this like I had a bunch of GP Sticker Studio kits in my last uh, haul. So I won't go like too in detail, but I'll kind of, you know, show you guys around. 
And I also think I did pick up like the full kit. I often will just get like the a la carte sheets, but I've been a little lazy recently to like think about what I need and what I don't. So I'm just like, okay, add all of them. Even though I don't use some of the sheets, it's mostly like the ombre heart checklist sheet that I don't really use, like this page here, but I always need at least one and I always need the weekly box. Although I think she does have another one. Yeah, she does. So there's always like the weekly box, but um, I feel like she had like three heart checklists somewhere here before, but I don't see them anymore. And I used to use them in my sidebar, unless I'm thinking about a different shop. I don't know, because I used to never get this sheet and somehow I was fine, but now I feel like I need something else for my sidebar, so whatever, I'll have an extra one. That's totally fine, it'll be great for my memory spread. So that's it from the GP Studio, and then let's get into my other um, stickers. So next up I have an order here from Crafts by Towie, and this order is like thickums. She, <laughs> I ordered a ton of stuff. So the first thing I have here, why is it already dusty? Um, this is a little journaling card that was like a freebie that says set goals and crush them, which is so cute. And this here says think, plan, do. Um, and then it's kind of like her thank you note at the bottom here. So super cute. I like that. Um, I would love to have like one of those like minimal planners where everything is like, like pretty much Amanda from My Life Stuck on Paper, like her vibes with cloth and paper, like in a planner. Um, and this is what that reminds me of, but I just, I don't have one of those, but I will hold on to this in case one day I decide that I want to channel my Amanda side. Um, and then the other freebie that I got was this large freebie. I think it's because my order, it's, you know, was like I said, tick. Um, and this is such a cute freebie and I love that it's in gold foil because that's definitely like the color that I use most this summer. Even though like my next like three or four spreads are all silver, I think. But this will definitely come in handy and it's so cute. I also really love these switch stickers and it makes me really sad that I returned my switch because I have no reason to use that now. Like, should I just go back and mark return switch or are we not going to do that? We're probably not going to do that, but we'll find another excuse to use it. Um, but okay, so she had a sale um, and I wanted to get like a bunch of her kits. But, and I think they were like 20 or 25% off. Let me see my invoice here if it says. Um, no, it doesn't say what the percentage was. Okay, I think I only got a discount on this kit anyways because everything else was like $2 Tuesday stuff. So um, there's no discount codes on that. But anyways, I wanted to pick up a bunch of these uh, kits and then they were all getting like pulled out of my cart, which was so tragic. But I still got this one and this one is so cute. It says Hello Gorgeous. I think that's the name of it. Um, and this is so pretty for fall. Like this pattern and like the florals and... I don't know, something about it. I think it's just the colors that like really scream fall to me. Um, so I'm excited. I'll definitely be moving around some kits to try to get this one in because it's so, so pretty. And this is definitely like an old format of hers. Oh, we have an extra full box. Cool, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, this is like an old format of hers. Like the sheets are like not even all the same sizes, which <laughs> was like definitely a thing way back when. Um, but yeah, it's still super cute. Like, yeah, her new format is so stunning. I love it. Um, I don't I haven't had like anything with it, but I am really excited to grab it. And yeah, this bottom washi is so cute too. And then you also have like a little scalloped strip down here, which will be fun. So that was the only kit that I managed to grab, but don't you worry, I did get other things too. So um, let me just get them out of the cellos. I hate the sound of cellos in videos and I'm, I usually try to take everything out before but somehow this time I forgot and like we're already here and I don't want to keep turning my camera on and off so I'm gonna try to do this quickly, okay? They're out, they're out, don't worry. Okay, so these were, I think these were from the volume 11 release. I don't know, I'm not sure, but look at these beautiful beautiful boxes. I like perfection. I don't know. I don't even know what event is worthy of one of these beautiful boxes. Like my birthday is not even worthy. This is like 
so pretty. I don't know. Maybe my mom's birthday. Like, she's special. And maybe Yanni's birthday, but, like, that's about it. <laughs> um, my dad my brother are fine. Yanni and my brother have the same birthday, so, like, maybe they'll get one of these. But that's all the way in April. Like, guys, what is worthy of this? So pretty. So... This is the floral frame layering box, and I did get these in all three foils. I did get everything in all three foils, so um, gold, rose gold, and the silver. So pretty. Are you kidding me? I love. And then I did also get these dividers 1.0. I saw a few people using them, and I thought they were just so cute, so I wanted to, um, to grab them. I think I saw Rachel use this, because I think Tao sent her some stuff, like, before it was released. Um, and yeah, these are just so pretty. And then I also got the Heart Flourish. I already used one of these. Yeah, like one of the silver ones. Um, and they were so, so cute. I love the mini ones. I wish she would do like a full sheet of the mini ones. Because I feel like I don't see a lot of mini dividers. And I always use up my mini ones first. And then I'm like left with all the larger ones. I mean, I also say that and I've only used the large ones. So maybe I'm a liar. Who knows? But again, got these in all three foils. And then, again, I um, think I saw Rachel use these, or maybe it was Tay, I don't know, one of them, both of them, who knows. Um, but it was these doily dots, and they look so cute for layering, and I'm so excited to pull these into my spreads. So again, we've got all three foils here, I oh, love that, it's so pretty. Um, then I got these planner spread ones. I don't even know why I like barely mark stuff with planner stickers. I feel like I have some planner doodles and I never remember to pull them in. But I thought this would be cute for like filming or I don't know, like a collab plan with me that's like more special. I like never really mark when I just plan, like unless I'm filming. So I don't know, but they're cute and I grabbed them. And then I got these PJs, which are so cute to mark like a lazy day or just kind of like lounging around. Also not something that I mark that often in my planner, but, um, you know, it's nice to have for when I need it. <laughs> and then um, this is the Happy Mail 2.0. I love that she also does boxes because I feel like I get a lot of... Also, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's an ice cream truck right outside my house and it's almost 10 p.m. Um... I'm not judging. I'm definitely not judging. Uh, but okay. Anyways, I love that she includes like the boxes on here because I feel like I get a lot of like packages and then I only have like envelope stickers and then I'm like, yeah, I don't love it, but I'll, I'll do it. But love that I have those now. And then um, I literally gardened maybe three times this year and decided that I needed gardening stickers. You'll see this come up again in this haul. I already know that I got it from another shop that I'll show you guys next. So um, yeah, decided that I needed these in all three foils for whatever reason for my three um, gardening sessions. So great. <laughs> And then uh, I got these dingles, which were really cute. I thought they'd be nice to mark like due dates and stuff for uh, classes once those start next month. I feel like I've been out of school for so long that I don't even remember. And it's literally been maybe three months, maybe four months. But I think because I've been like home uh, and like classes were not canceled, but they were moved online since March that I feel like I haven't been in school in forever. But but it's okay. My classes in September are still going to be online, so kind of not going back anyways. Um, but yeah, I also grabbed these camping stickers because normally we go camping like at least three times in the summer. But this year we only went once and it only ended up being for one night. I think I'm going to talk about it in a plan with me that I haven't filmed, but I think you guys have already seen because this haul will probably go up later. But anyways, um, yeah, these are going to be really cute. I love camping, so glad to have those and then I did also grab her um, I have an icon for that bundle so I grabbed it in all the foils but I'll just show you guys gold because um it's a lot it's all 10 of her volumes in like the sampler sheets so kind of pointless to show you know each of the foil colors but um this is volume one and I love that like I'll now have like one of everything pretty much and you know like I don't need like a full sheet of these like closets but I'm glad to have one of them for I don't know if I decide to clean out my closet again whatever reason um this is volume two it's I think the closet is from volume seven I guess it just like fit better on here so there's that 
um, volume three. A lot of these are things that I like wouldn't use, like this ovulation, or no, this, I think this is a pregnancy test. I'm not really sure what that is. If you know, can you tell me? Cause like, is this like a water truck? Anyways, then we have like a bra, like a period thing, a daycare, like a gavel, is that the word? Like the lawyer judge thing. <laughs> oh god, I make myself sound so stupid in these videos. I promise I'm not that dumb, guys. Um, but yeah, like I probably wouldn't use a lot of these, but who knows? Who knows? Um, this here, super cute. Like I haven't played tennis in probably five years, and even when I did, I was no bueno. So who knows? But again, maybe one day I'll need it. Super cute, love her icons. Love, love, love. And then I, f I feel like I skipped some because I thought I had, or maybe I did grab it from the samplers. Maybe I already got into these because I was like, I feel like I've used some of these, but maybe I just used them in a different foil color. Yeah, super cute. Like, <laughs> it'll take me 10 years if I was to mention every single one on here, so I'll just show it to you guys. But yeah, I am so excited about these. Also like who has a dog and wants that sticker because it's so cute and I wish I had a reason to use dog food but I don't have any pets so I won't be using that. And then yeah, like I said, I did also grab all of those in um, the other two foil colors too and um, now I think I'm set on Crafts by Towie icons for a little while. Um, I did also order two other sets of sheets that were missing, but I've already contacted her and she said that she will send them, but I'll let you guys know that it was. I ordered like the birthday icons, again, because I wanted more birthday stickers. Um, and then I also ordered like a summer sheet, which kind of sucks that it won't get here in time, but it's totally fine. And then I've also already placed an order for her pre-sale, um, which is really exciting and it actually just shipped. It shipped super fast. I was expecting it to take like weeks and weeks um, and it shipped really fast. So I'm excited to get everything. But that was everything from Crafts by Towie. And then the next shop that I have to show you guys is White Deer Stationery. And her stuff is always super cute, packaged in this little like craft bag with her business card and the little antlers. I think people say that you can collect them to like redeem some prize and I have like a million of them laying around somewhere but I've never collected the prize even though I should because I feel like all her stuff is so cute so I should definitely do that. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to grab a few more icons because I really do love her icons um, and so I wanted some new ones and she was having like a free Canadian shipping thing. I don't know if that's like still going on. I think she had a sale this past weekend, but she was having like free Canadian shipping and then she also has a referral program. So I used um, like a friend's code and I think I got 15% off, I'm not sure, but yeah, um, super cool. So let's get into it. If you guys want a referral code, shoot me a message on Instagram and I will send it to you. Don't think I get anything for it, don't know about that, but you'll get 15% off on your first order. So yeah, this is the freebie that I got, super cute. I love her icons. I think I have like all of these on their own sheet or most of these, like I don't know about this little guy, but I think I have most of these on their own sheet. So love that, Loving, love having extras. Um, so I got this shopping basket. I do have her shopping cart, but I thought the basket was super cute. Um, and then I got the flower ones because from the baking ones that I have, which I'm almost out of, uh -huh, hence this, the flower ones are like my favorite and I always feel like I hoard them. Like I try to use the other ones instead of the flower ones. Um, so I was like, okay, I love that she has like a full sheet of the flower ones now. So I have these because sometimes I like layering two of them um, and I think that looks super cute. And I also love the mixers down here too. Um, but... Now I have both. And then again, birthday stickers. Something about this cake though screams so wedding to me. I think it's cause it's tiered, but I don't know. Like I'm definitely gonna use this for birthdays because I don't know any weddings coming up. I mean, unless you're getting married and want, want me to come and I can use one of these, but I doubt that. So I will be using those for birthdays. Um, and then I got ice cream ones, which are so cute. I never get ice cream in a cone. I always get it in a cup if it's an option, but um, I kind of use them interchangeably. I'm not too picky about that. Um, I got these running shoes because apparently I always think I'm going to work out or do all these fun physical activities and 
I don't, but I have tons of options for running shoes. And then um, I got these vacuums because I thought they were like so cute and different. Like I thought they were super different than like other vacuum stickers I have. I feel like the other ones all look like little hoovers, but I thought this one was super cute and kind of retro looking, which is kind of her vibe, which is cool. Um, and then I got these lifeguard towers, which I thought would be really fun to mark beach days. I should remember to use this. I'm supposed to go to the beach this weekend, so love that. Then I got these little flower bouquets um, because I've had to pick up flowers like a few times recently and I never have anything to mark it with so I thought these would be perfect. Um, then I got these coffee makers. Not exactly sure what I'm going to use these for because I never mark coffee if I make it at home because I have coffee at home like two or three times a day so wouldn't really make sense for me to mark it every day two or three times so I don't know but I just thought it was so cute like maybe if we get a new coffee machine which we tend to do every now and then and yeah just love that my dad and I are like coffee not snobs but we just love coffee um speaking of coffee I also got these travel to go cups for you know Starbucks runs Tim's runs any kind of runs and then these are just so cute, the little feather dusters for like a cleaning day. Again, like I don't know why this looks so retro to me. Like now I would just use like a Swiffer duster. Um, but yeah, I don't know. These little like feathers are so cute. Love that. Um, this is the other gardening sheet that I was talking about. Again, for my three times a year or a lifetime gardening adventures. But I've got them, so now I have to garden some more. Um, and then I got these prescription meds. Um, I never have to like make pharmacy runs because my mom's a pharmacist so if I ever need like a refill I call my mom and say hey I'm running out of x y and z but um, I do like to mark if I like have to take any medications or anything like that and I also have a pharmacology course coming up so I don't know maybe I could use it for that and again they're just cute and apparently I need them. Um, then I got these stethoscopes for the clinical that I don't have this coming semester. Um, eventually, I will have clinical again. If you guys don't know or are new to my channel, I am a nursing student. So, um, yeah, that's why. That's the clinical and classes that I'm talking about. But love that. And then these, again, I don't know. Like, do I use this for, like, shopping? Can I? Because I don't mark anything savings related. But they are just so cute. I needed them. This is how I feel about this entire order. And then these um, I thought would be nice for like Sephora orders or anything like that. So just little lipsticks. I thought that was cute. So that was everything from White Deer Stationery. And then the next thing that I have to show you guys is actually from a sweet friend of mine, Plans with Kate. Obviously Kate. <laughs> um, she sent me some like washi from Simply Gilded and she also wrote me this cute card which I've obviously already read and yeah it was just she's so sweet I don't remember um this came in like a little while ago I've just had it sitting here okay no she, did, she didn't say anything I was like did she say anything personal I don't want to show it but yeah super cute card and she sent like all her like all these rose gold Simply Gilded washi tapes which is so kind um, and I always feel like I don't have any rose gold simply gilded tape so this is just so freaking perfect like especially this one I have a tiny sample of it that um, Amanda from my life stack on paper sent me probably two years ago and I literally don't let myself use it because I'm like what if I run out what if I need it um, and now I have like a whole roll which is amazing and then the white with rose gold like for the five millimeters which are so cute for headers this one is I don't know I, I think she has a different name for it like I don't think this is rose gold like maybe pink I don't I'm not sure maybe this one is rose gold and this one's like brand new so that's so nice um this one okay I don't really know what the rest of these are called but so pretty thank you so much Kate that was oh great I'm throwing around your gift I'm I'm really nice <laughs> um, but yeah I thought that was so sweet and again thank you so so much <laughs> okay and then the last shop that I have to show you guys is the graceful planner uh, I think Marique I hope I'm saying that correctly oh gosh I, I always I always get nervous to say people's names because 
I'm nervous to say it incorrectly, but um, she's the shop owner and she did include some like grab bags um, or I think that's what these are. Oh yeah, goodie bags um, for like delays due to COVID, which I thought was really nice. So uh, there were like these little bows on them on this like pretty like peony background and then these like gifts. Um, I wonder if I can like foil these or I wonder if these are like oops bags or overstock bags. I don't know, but if I can foil these, that would be really cool. Um, and then we have some headers, which these are so pretty. Oh my god, I totally wish I used this with like my Aquaholic kit because the colors are like so similar. Um, but yeah, just so cute. And then we also have some date covers, which is so nice. So thank you for that. And then for my actual order, um, this I ordered during the Planner Friends sale. Um, which I participated in as well. So it was kind of a long time ago if I remember correctly, but um, I did just get them in recently. So this is the little freebie. There's like a full box with some of her new doodles, which I picked up um, and they're just so cute. And I think this was a freebie too, because I don't remember ordering this, but it's very cute. I love her doodles. I want her to come out with more because I want them all. Um, but the ones that I did order, I got these TV and chill ones, and I did get the pink colorway in all of them. I think she has some other colorways now too, but when I placed my order, she only had this one, and either way, this is probably the one that I would get, because I use a lot of pink in my planner. Um, then I got these movie night ones. I got Happy Mail. Clearly, I've like already gotten into these stickers. I've had these sitting here for a little bit, but don't judge me. Um, then I got these reading ones. I got these house ones. I thought these were so cute. Um, cleaning, uh, shopping. Look how cute these little baskets are. Are you kidding me? A pink grocery basket. There was a grocery store that had pink baskets. I would go to that store only. And then I also got these shopping bags. So very cute. Um, I'm excited to grow my collection. I hope she comes out with a lot more stuff. And then I did also pick up a kit. Um, and this is a foiled kit. It's called Sunrise. And let me just see if I can show you here. So super cute. One thing I will mention is that um, I have had some like trouble with her uh, foiling. Like I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's like not really focusing. But yeah, like on the bow there, um, there's kind of like a lot of black dots and kind of in the text too. So it's not the best foil job, but her paper is really nice. So I'm not sure why the foiling like doesn't really like to stick to it. But yeah, this is not like a one-off kind of thing. But I don't know. I just, I love her design so much. So it kind of like doesn't stop me from shopping. But um, I do hope that, you know, that can improve in the future. But either way, I did still grab this kit kind of knowing what I was getting myself into. And I think she's also reformatted because I don't remember these being in her kits before, but I think they're really beautiful. So um, you have your headers here, date covers, flags, these like scalloped half circles, scalloped like side icons. Um, and then these, are these headers or like a big washi strip? Oh, yeah, this is just like a washi strip that's scalloped. And then this is the next page. So this one is not foiled, tons of boxes and like sidebar stickers. And then we also have the bottom washi and like tons of checklists. I don't know who uses this many checklists, but if you've got this much stuff to do, damn, I'm impressed. But the bottom washi is really pretty. And then you have some cut washi and build do stickers. And then I also opted in to get the uh, like functional, I think this was an add-on sheet. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was. And I don't know that I needed it now that I think about it because there's actually like a bunch of like flags here. And this is like mostly flags. I don't know. I'm not complaining actually. I love, I love functional stickers like this. And like these are super cute. You know what? I, I shouldn't complain. I think they're beautiful. And I also really like the fact that these are like very neutral and I'll, I'd be able to pull in like the ones without the florals into other spreads. So love that. There's just tons like flags, hearts, circles, um, hexagons, these like arrows, mini arrows, and then these long flags. And again, the washi boxes. So super cute. I do hope that in the future she can improve her foiling, but until then I will kind of suck it up and, you know, use what's being offered. So 
yeah, that was everything from the Graceful Planner. Okay, so the next shop that I have to show you guys is Hello Petite Paper. I did place an order during her anniversary sale and picked up a few different things, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. So let's start out with the freebies here. So I do have two freebies. This first one here has a weekly box, or actually, oh no, different formats. A weekly box, a laptop, a planner, and two labels here. And this one kind of similar with the weekly box a few other icons as well as a little bill do stickers so these will be cute to pull into um like any spreads that they match like i think this will be pretty easy to pull in so that's awesome and then i do also have her business card which is so beautiful such a pretty card love the florals and the gold bow really really cute and i do also have two journaling cards here so First one here has this like floral with the wood grain pattern and then this says no rain no flowers. I'm not sure if it came with a kit or if it was just like a freebie journaling card but super super cute um, very springy and then I also have this Disney one that also says like thank you it's kind of like her thank you card so that's very cute too. And then um, I'll start off with these mini sheets that I grabbed here. I saw um, a few people use these icons that she released not too long ago, and so I wanted to grab them as well. So these ones here are the grocery ones. I think they're so, so cute. Love them. I got the Happy Mail ones, which are adorable. Again, love that these have the little packages. I always appreciate that because I feel like most of my mail, I mean, other than stickers, always comes in boxes. So that's awesome. I got these planners, which are so cute. Oh my God, I can't wait to use these, especially like this one here and actually both of them. This, <laughs> this like cloud looking one, so pretty. And then we have the makeup one. I don't even know. I don't even use like makeup stickers like this that often unless it's like to clean my brushes, which I don't even mark a lot of the times, but these were just so, so cute. I love it. So maybe I'll like, use it if I was like placing a Sephora order or something because they're just too cute. Um, and then I got the finances sheet, which like, look at these little pigs. They're so cute. The little piggy banks are adorable. The money flying and the little credit cards. So cute. I got the bags one, so you kind of have like a suitcase here, a backpack, a like duffel bag or a gym bag, and then a like duffel bag and suitcase stacked together, which I thought these were super cute, like travel and school and like if I ever go to the gym, which probably won't happen, so I'll just use this as like a weekender bag. Perfect. Um, and then these two here, I got these two sheets of deco. I actually do have both of these kits. and. Um, I don't have this sheet, but I actually ended up finding this sheet, so I already have it, but I love these little hedgehogs so much, so I'm like not upset <laughs> at the fact that I'll have an extra, um, and these two kits are ones that I plan to use uh, in my planner this year. I already have this one laid down, and this one, hopefully I can use this year too, and if not, I'll save it for next fall, because I have so many fall kits already, you guys, and it's like barely August. I mean... It is August. It's like mid-August and you guys are probably watching this and it's already September. So yeah. Um, and then I did end up picking up three different kits which are all so beautiful and I got the deco add-on for all of them. And I did get her kits this time in glossy normally like these ones here I got I get in matte. But um, I don't know her matte just like isn't my favorite. It's pretty thin um, and so I thought I would get glossy this time. Um, and so that's what I did for all three kits. So this is the deco sheet. This kit here is called Lavender Fields. And um, she does do all her own art. I can't, like the, her name is like right at the tip of my tongue, but like I can't remember it. Um, but her art is just so, so beautiful. So love these full boxes here. We've got little things and half boxes. I do wish she would get rid of these, but I also think that this is an older format and she's since reformatted but I still think she has her little things look at these colors just so beautiful the checklists flags long flags some circle icons labels bill due and payday and day off weekend banner here we've got our bottom washi cut washi sidebar stickers here this bottom washi is so beautiful I really love it oh whoops we've got our headers here 
and I really like these patterned headers that she has throughout. Those are usually the only ones that I end up using from this sheet. Or actually I do use them in my sidebar too a lot of the time. Um, and mine looks like it's like slightly smudged here, but whatever, not a huge deal. I probably would, just won't use those. And then we have our heart checklists here. So I'm excited to try out her glossy paper and see how that works out for me um, instead of the matte. Um, and then the next kit I got was this one here. This one is called Lemon Drop. I did get the deco for this. Love these florals. I can't wait to use all of these. Um, these are all like spring and summer kits, which I'll be using in 2021. Um, so I won't use them for a long time, but yeah, like I, I couldn't pass up on these. They were just so cute and she was having a sale and here we are. I already have them. <laughs> um, so here we have the headers. She does often do this like, um, glitter header thing which I do use a lot of the time these headers are cute because there's some like flowers in them but yeah I wish if she had like all the same like today headers like in all the same color then I would maybe use them um but yeah I don't know I don't love that there are all different colors and then ooh, I think this one's actually in the new format because I see that there are less little things and she added these like label stickers which are nice and big I like that um, super cute. Hmm, I didn't even notice that this one was in the newer format. Um, and then this page looks to be the same. The flags are so cute here. I love that. And I really like this script weekend banner. Um, this also looks a little bit different where we have two habit trackers now and they do seem to be a little bit more squared off, which is cute. And we have another label here. So a little bit less cut washy. I feel like there's like some printing like weird lines going through it like I don't know if you can see but there's like a line going through there it's like so faint and like here but you can definitely tell in person so it's kind of weird but I just won't use those pages but this bottom washi is so pretty and then we still have our heart checklist which hers are so beautiful um, I do wish she had like you know less of them and kind of updated her format but um, I am happy that she added the labels on the page here where was it here and then we also have that one there so happy about that and hope that she kind of continues to reformat a little bit and then the last kit that I did pick up here this one is called sunny days such beautiful colors and the deco is so cute these shoes goals I want these shoes but they're expansive <laughs> um, and yeah so this is the kit here it says here comes the sun and this is also a super cute like summery kit that I'll definitely be using next year um, the colors are very spring so honestly I would also be fine with using them in the spring looks like she also used a different um, glitter texture here which this one looks cute so happy about that and then I think this one here again is in that older format because there's only one of these habit trackers and not like the label here so did get one of them in the new format so that's cool these colors are so pretty and springy and love the flags so yeah this one does have all the little things but I'll just be able to pull in labels from like my stash or whatever um, and then we have the heart checklist and yeah that was everything that I grabbed from hello petite paper okay and then the last thing that I have to share with you guys for this haul is my first ever cloth and paper um, order I have been loving all the minimal planning that I've been seeing on Instagram and I just needed a reason <laughs> to get into it um, and I figured since all my schooling is gonna be online I was like I need a better way to organize it especially like I don't know remembering to like log into classes and stuff so that was my excuse. Um, let's move this box out of the way because it's completely washing everything out because it's so dark. Um, and yeah, so I did decide to go with a B6 rings. I don't actually have the planner yet. Um, I've ordered it. Um, but I will show you guys that in another haul when everything else comes in, like the planner and some of the other things that I got too. But today I do have the inserts and um, some of the other items that I got from cloth and paper. So I did get a ton of stuff and I did also um, like take everything out of the cellos or as much as I can at least like the insert so that I can show it to you guys so that you're not hearing like crinkling all around. So yeah, let's get into it. 
the first thing I have here is this like thank you card I think and yeah so this is like their thank you and some code and yada yada <laughs> and this like little journaling card um, I'm probably gonna get rid of this but uh, thank you and then I uh, got like the first you know writing utensil I did get this Tombow uh, I think it's a brush I want to say it's like a brush pen. I don't really know what these are called. I'm new to all this. Um, I actually did pick up one of these before when I was like trying to play with calligraphy. And um, yeah, I thought I would get like a light gray one because that one is black. And I thought it would be nice to like highlight stuff with it. I do have like a mild liner right here. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how these two um, like are different. I think my invoice is like right here. So let me see if I can actually show you guys the difference between a gray mild liner. Boom. I need to get a new one. Mine's like drying out a bit. And the gray... I think this was like, she had like a variety of grays too. I don't even know how to do this, boom. Ooh, that's pretty, I like how that's way lighter. Um, sometimes I feel like even the mild liner is like still really dark in my notes, so I like that. Um, and let me see if I can open this up. And um, in case you guys are curious, I got the cool gray one. So I think she had a few different ones, but um, I did just go for the first one that I saw and oh, I should also say it does also have like this tip here Don't really know that I would like use that but I mean it's there And the gray is really pretty well. You can like barely see it. It's so light But I think for highlighting things like times and stuff for classes or due dates I think it'll be perfect and then let me move some of this stuff. Okay, so I did get some of her transparent uh, page flags because they're like all the hype and I wanted to be cool and I wanted to be, you know, part of the gang. And no, I do really use page flags um, like in my EC when I think something is going to happen, but like I'm not sure. So um, I wanted to have these. I do want to get like a few more colors, but these are beautiful. And then I also got these sticky notes. I totally thought these were transparent for some reason, even though it definitely didn't say that. Um, but they're not. They're just like a solid color. And this is in the color Dirty Chai, which is a beautiful color. I love all the neutrals. Love that. Like everything I got is like neutrals and pinks. So really excited. Um, that's cute. I don't really know. I don't really use big sticky notes like this. But again, I wanted to be like, you know, in with the people. And then I wanted to get some transparent dots. I do have some from The Giving Girl, actually. Um, but I wanted to get some of these. And these are just, like, so clean and pretty looking that I also just, like, want to decorate with these. Because, again, they're beautiful. So I thought I was just getting one sheet of transparent dots. And then I looked at my invoice. Oops. Totally thought I took everything out of the packaging that needed to. But um, yeah, I ended up getting like a different shapes bundle, which I thought was kind of cool. So these are the dots. Oh, and these are all in the color cotton. So these are dots. These are hexagons. We've got squares. We've got tape, which I feel like these are going to be like awesome to like highlight something. Let me know um, what you guys use these for, but that's kind of like what I was thinking. Like if, if I have something due and like I really want to like, you know, point it out and like I don't want to highlight it with this. Like I'm thinking this will be like for time specific stuff and like maybe this will be like due dates and stuff. Again, let me know if you guys have these and how you use them. And then I also have these corners and I totally had no idea what these were for, but actually this morning I saw um, somebody, I think it was Plans with Brit, but I'm not sure. Um, I saw that she kind of used these um, in the corner of her monthly, I think, and it was like to highlight days that had specific events. So um, yeah, I'm excited to play around with all these and I love that I have all these different shapes in the same colors so that, you know, I can kind of like keep things consistent and of course, I'm getting a spam call because I don't know what's going on, but New Zealand just keeps on calling me. <laughs> like, they're definitely not calling from New Zealand. The number looks totally fake and I'm just not picking up. Anyways, <laughs> then um, I wanted to get another color. So this is the linen colorway and I did get these in the dots and I did get two sheets. I didn't know that it comes with two sheets, but 
I am not going to complain, so that's awesome. And also just to show you guys the difference between linen and cotton, in case you guys are curious, um, this is them here. So this is definitely like way more muted and like mauve -y, whereas this is more of like a true like baby pink color. Um, I love them both and I'm excited to play around with both of them, but in case you wanted to see them side by side. And then I did get two dashboards and the first one, I kind of figured I wouldn't take this out of the packaging. It is like a um, like vellum, but hers are like super thick. So that's really awesome. But I got this one here in, um, I think this is the Perseverance Quo one. Not really sure what they're called, but yeah, it just says Perseverance is not a long race. It is many short races, one after the other, Walter Elliott. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute and simple and pretty and like that's kind of what I'm going for um, for this planner. Like very simple, not too many colors, um, not too many patterns and love that. And then I got the inbox um, dashboard as well. Honestly, I don't even really know. Maybe like I'll keep like a sticky note of like where are my circle sticky notes here. Like maybe I can keep like sticky notes of like things that I gotta do like ASAP or something. Um, like stick it on here and I know that's like get it done. Um, but yeah, if you guys have these, again, also let me know. I'm so new to this whole functional planning thing. I feel like I've been planning just in like an EC type planner for so long that I don't even remember how to like not use stickers everywhere. So yeah, like let me know, please, SOS. If you guys have any like videos um, that you guys know that like people do for like functional planning, I would love to check them out. So please, please let me know. I know Amanda from My Life Stuck on Paper just did one and I loved it. Um, yeah, it was just like beautiful. So really excited to watch her videos and I hope she does a bunch more about functional planning because again, I'm a noob, I need help. And then into the inserts that I picked up, um, the first ones that I picked up were these recipe inserts. And again, I took them all out, but separated it with these cellos just so that I know, you know, where the separation is, but you also don't have to like hear me crinkle around with the cellos cause like that drives me nuts. Um, but yeah, I don't even really know why I got these. Like sometimes I just want to add like a recipe into um, like somewhere. Like I just want to like jot it down and I have like nowhere to do so. So I am just like screenshotting it and my camera roll is full with like recipes. So yeah, I thought this would be like a nice place. Like I'll probably have like a little recipes section in the back if there's ever something that like I made and really enjoyed, I could like stick it in here. And there's like a decent amount of pages and they're also um, like double sided. So like, you know, you, for one of these sheets, you have like two recipes. So I thought that was pretty great. Um, and yeah, it's like so well thought out. Like you could write out what you're making here, how many servings, the prep time, the cook time, the cooking temperature, kitchen tools, um, nutrition and calories. And this will be especially um, like awesome. I haven't been doing keto the last like two months or so, but I hope uh, I start again. And so like, I feel like it'll be great if it's like a keto recipe that I can mark that it's low carb. And then you have your ingredients section and your prep instructions. I hope I can fit like recipes into this little section for like prep instructions, but it is like a little short, but I don't know, I'll figure it out. So excited to play around with those. And then the next set of inserts that I did pick up are these purchase trackers because your girl has been shopping like crazy for stickers, for stuff for this planner. Um, yeah, I have like gone off, <laughs> um, but I thought it would be nice to like keep track of it. I've been keeping track in my phone, um, but I don't know, I like these. I think they're pretty. I do wish that it had like some other things like instead of item, cause like normally it's always stickers. I wish it was like when it was shipped or like if it's arrived. Oh, there is a little check mark for if it's arrived. Oh, I totally didn't notice that. Okay, scratch everything I've said. This is perfect then. <laughs> I was like filling out one of these sheets yesterday. Um, let's see if I can show it to you. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it really matters, but I was just like filling out one of these and I was like, where am I going to write if I've gotten it or not? Um, and I totally didn't notice that little check mark. So that's cool. I also, yeah, I was like so excited about these inserts coming in yesterday that even though I don't have my planner, I've already started filling it out. So clearly somebody's excited. <laughs> 
And then the next thing that I got, I did want to get some dated, um, like, you know, Q4 of 2020, but they didn't actually have any for the B6 rings at least. And so I just ended up getting these like a week on one page. I think they called these like hobo style, like Hobonichi. Um, these week on one page with a grid on the other, kind of like undated. Again, like I don't know if this is enough room, but I know the Kiki K um, planner that I got also has like a few inserts in it that like maybe I can just kind of use for the rest of 2020. And then for 2021, I'll have my dated ones. I'll kind of have to like play around with it and see. Um, maybe this will be like nice for like due dates and stuff and like classes. And then here I can write like what I want to study or like kind of what I want to work on and yeah we'll see and there's like I think 14 weeks worth which is perfect because my semesters are 14 weeks so that's awesome um got those we'll see kind of how I get along with them once school starts and once I get my planner in and everything um, and then I did get these dated monthlies for 2020, which I know it's kind of ridiculous because we're almost in 2021. I mean, we're in August, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to be able to have like an overview of what my month is looking like. And again, let me see if I can like go back to it um, to where August is. Um, I did go ahead and kind of play around and see how I want to um, like... <laughs> I don't know use these so I kind of just used these dots here and these ones are not transparent these are also from the giving girl it was like one of her freebies um so I just kind of like put the time on here I feel like they're a little too teeny um and my handwriting ends up looking like a little messy for time so I probably like wouldn't do that um but yeah I thought this would be really nice to see like oh I have like three midterms this week and like nothing this week so that'll be like a week to study because it's an empty week something like that and then I was like playing around with this and like, I don't know, I was just like kept wanting to play around. So like I, this is July, so obviously July has come and gone. Um, but again, I kind of just wanted to see how I would like get along with these. And so I just used these foiled ones. Um, again, these are also from a Giving Girl freebie. These ones are transparent, but since there are bows on it, like probably wouldn't <laughs> use them in the transparent way. Um, and then... Yeah, I haven't really even shown you guys what these inserts look like, so let's do that. Okay, so they are kind of different since I did pick up the 2021 ones. The 2020 ones are a little bit different. Um, I am really excited for the 2021 ones because there's like, okay, we'll get there. So this is what the cover looks like, which is beautiful. And then you just have your monthly, which obviously January has come and gone. This is pre-quarantine, pre-corona days. We had no idea what was coming for us. And um, 2020, you were a mess. But yeah, this is just kind of what they look like. And then like this back page is blank and then you move on to February, so on and so forth. So obviously these ones I'll probably just like toss. Um, even though these are like so cute, I wish that I had a reason to use these, but I do not. So I'll probably just toss them. And yeah, um, again, if you guys have like planner, like functional minimal planning photos on Instagram or you have an Instagram account where you do minimal planning, please let me know because I would love to follow you um, and kind of like steal all your amazing ideas. <laughs> um, this is kind of what I set up uh, September to look like. Um, it's mine and Yanni's um, anniversary on the 9th, so we just have like our dinner reservations. And then the only other thing I have down is that my classes start on the 14th. Um, and again, these little transparent dots are from the Giving Girl. And yeah, I decided to put them here on the actual day since they were transparent and see how I like that. So we'll see. That was the month. And then for 2021, I did end up getting this big fat daddy. These are like pretty much all the 2021 inserts I need. So um, I thought I was getting the vertical weekly line, but this actually did come with a monthly as well. So yeah, it says year at a glance, monthly, week on two page, and Monday start month. I don't know. But I did end up getting an additional monthly for 2021 only because I totally didn't read the description. Didn't see that this already comes with a monthly overview. So um, if you guys have any ideas for what I can use an additional monthly for, like I was thinking something for my shop, but I honestly do releases like once or twice a month. So I feel like it wouldn't really make sense. So we'll see how I 
how I kind of figure it out. So this is the cover. I think you're like, I don't know if you're supposed to keep this or toss it. I don't know. But you have your like front here, which has this belongs to. You have world clocks on the back, conversions, which was cute. Then you have your 2021 um, like year at a glance, which is cool. Like I think this will be nice to uh, like mark birthdays on with like transparent dots. So I like that. Um, and then you have your holidays here and then your uh, like months start. So this is kind of what I meant that I like about the 2021 monthlies where you have this page before the month actually starts. So you can do like monthly goals, important days, um, bills, and then like a monthly to-do list, which this gives you so many places to write. So I feel like this will be really nice too. I never really use pages like this, but I feel like I'll enjoy it for some reason. And then the monthly looks pretty similar if I remember correctly, let's see here. So this is what our 2021 month at a glance looks like. It's so hard to show you guys this without um, like it being in a planner. Oh yeah, it does actually kind of look different. So the 2020 has definitely like bolder lines as you can see and like a way bolder font. And then the 2021 is like more minimal and simple. So that's cool. And I like this font too. It's like really, really simple. I like this one too for 2020, but 2021 is, you know, more my vibe. So I like that. And then let's see if I can like show you guys this way. And then this is your week at a glance or like week on two pages actually. And I totally thought that it went like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but it actually goes this way, which I'm like so not used to. So I'm like kind of nervous to see how I get along with that, but um, I think I'll be fine. And then yeah, obviously it just like continues, la da 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 and then end of the month, and then you kind of have like a notes page at the back of the month, and then um, your next month, and then obviously it repeats. So I won't be getting into that for quite a while because we are still, you know, we still have like four and a half months left of 2020, but once the year is over, I'm excited to kind of play around with those inserts. And then the last thing that I got was an accidental, accidental purchase that, like I said, I did pick up the 2021 monthlies because I didn't know that the weeklies that I got already had monthlies in it. So um, you still have that year at a glance again. And then this is like the exact same monthlies idea, but just no weeklies in between. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas for like what I can use this for, let me know because I feel like you guys are way more creative than me and can come up with, you know, better ideas. So yeah, that was my first uh, order from Cloth and Paper. I did get a lot of stuff, but this is most of um, like what will be in my planner. Okay, sorry, my camera rudely cut me off and said that I've run out of memory because I've been filming for too long. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, that this is most of the stuff that's gonna be in the planner. I will show you guys the other stuff as it comes in. I picked up some uh, like clear dashboard, or sorry, dividers uh, from a different shop because cloth and paper didn't carry like B6 dividers, which I thought was a little bit sad because their dividers are like beautiful. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys everything as it all comes in. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you guys thought of this haul um, in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!